This is impossible. If Maxie had a miscarriage, how can she still be pregnant with Dante and Lulu's baby? Don't mind me. I'm still not looking at what you're doing. I just forgot to take my prenatal vitamins. Maxie, you had a miscarriage. I had a miscarriage? What are you talking about? I was lying during our earlier altercation. I wasn't, in fact, Skyping with Damien. I was researching your medical records. How did you get your hands on them? I tricked Damien into helping me hack onto the General Hospital mainframe. You what? I'm sorry, I felt it was my only recourse if I wanted to learn the truth about that baby, especially after both you and Dr. Westbourne tried to discourage me. You hacked into my personal medical records? You bitch. I realize I violated numerous professional policies, not to mention my personal code of ethics, but I sensed you were hiding something, and I was worried about Dante and Lulu and that baby. And, and when I get that, that feeling, it's like I'm compelled by some unseen yet extremely powerful force. I had no choice but to follow my instincts. No, you had a choice. You definitely had a choice to mind your own business and respect my privacy. Maxie! Respect for privacy is not more important than the health and well-being of an unborn child. I sensed something was amiss, and I was right. Because that baby doesn't even exist. Empirical evidence proves it. I have your empirical evidence right here. In this baby bump, there's a real baby bumping around if you would like to feel it. The facts are right here on the screen. Maxie, you miscarried on New Year's Eve, which must have resulted from the fall you took when that mysterious puppy made an unexpected visit to our apartment. I'm just saying, you fell and you lost the baby and you've conspired with Dr. Westbourne to keep it a secret. Okay, then uh, how do you explain this? And if you say it's a pillow, you better think again, because I, I have uh, sonograms and weird food cravings to prove it. Well, I have to admit, I, I'm at a loss as to how you can still be pregnant. Well, let me enlighten you. I never had a miscarriage. I've been pregnant with the same baby since Dr. Westbourne implanted Dante and Lulu's embryo in me. No, the records clear. The records must be someone else's, okay? Maybe you hacked into the wrong file. No, that is not possible. <sighs> The only way that this makes any sense is... Oh my God. I know what happened. As far as I'm... You think you know what's going on. When I'm obviously still pregnant, but my records say I'm not. Uh, if you remember, I aided in the fertilization process. I introduced Dante's sperm to Lulu's eggs, thus creating three embryos. The first one, Dr. Westbourne implanted into you, and the remaining two, I froze to be held in reserve. Clearly, you didn't want Dante and Lulu to know that you had lost the baby, so while they were away in Turkey, you had Dr. Westbourne implant you with one of the remaining embryos. That's completely crazy. Oh, is it? Where do you think you're going? Well, I'm going to the lab, and I bet I know what I'll find. No, it's... Ellie, you can't. Go to the lab. Oh, and why don't you want me going to the lab? It's because I'm right, aren't I? I'm not gonna find two of Dante and Lulu's frozen embryos. I'm only gonna find one. No. They're both still there. I don't understand. Because you had a miscarriage and you're still pregnant. I had a miscarriage. And I'm pregnant. But I didn't get this way because of one of Dante and Lulu's embryos. What do you, what do you mean? And if you're gonna come up with another lie or another cover story, just don't bother. Ellie, Be this is not Dante and Lulu's child. It the baby you're carrying isn't Dante and Lulu's? Well, you were half right. I did have a miscarriage on New Year's Eve. I was, I was gonna tell Dante and Lulu. I mean, I invited them over and I planned out everything I was gonna say. And after everything they've been through, I just couldn't disappoint them. So when they had to suddenly rush off to Turkey to rescue Luke, I thought this was the perfect solution. So I asked Dr. Westbourne to implant me with one of Dante and Lulu's remaining embryos. But she wouldn't? She couldn't. When she tested me to see if I was ready for the procedure, it turned out that I didn't need to be implanted again because... Because you were already pregnant. Yeah. 
You're not with Dante and Lulu's baby. No. With Damien's. The oh my God. You're having Damien's baby. Believe me, I, I, I was as shocked as you are now. <sighs> And I really wish you weren't such a good detective, because if you hadn't kept digging, I mean, no one would have known. I really thought I had this whole thing under control. You mean, you were just keeping it a secret from Dante and Lulu? Yeah. They don't have a clue. No. Neither does Damien, does he? No, Spinelli does not know that I'm having his baby. Maxie, that is wrong. Damien needs to know that. And I have to tell him. Ellie, what are you doing? I'm calling Damien. He needs to know the truth. No, please, can, can we talk about this first? Maxie, there is nothing to talk about. You are carrying Damien's baby and you're keeping it from him. That is so wrong. <sighs> the effervescent Ellie, I was just about to call you. Um, I met with Betsy Frank. Damien, listen to me. Um, I need to tell you something of the utmost importance. <laughs> 